Tony from SUS.com and today I'm very excited to show you this revolutionary product called Viewer Boson Gimera that allows you to go beyond the 640 by 512 pixels limit in commercially available thermal cameras so far. Uh, we've talked about the, uh, the 160 by 120 and then 320 by 256 but then you can go up to only 640 by 512 so far. This product, however, allows you to go beyond that. It's a whole 1024 pixels across 640 top to bottom. Yes, 1024 across 640 top to bottom. And it's thermal camera, it's Gimera. Gimera because it's gimbal plus camera plus everything else. It functions on its own. Uh, it's handle it allows you to ha hold it in your hand and uh, walk around but you can also move it to inspire one or inspire two or similar drones that allow you to carry this and fly in the air and do aerial footage so this is great because so far we have been stuck with only 640 512 uh, resolution uh, nobody is trying to go beyond that and don't break your bank Yet there are other cameras, HD, even HD cameras out there. But then uh, it costs you a fortune to get those. Mm. So to give you a little bit of history, two years ago, we released a, an early version of something called Viewer Boson Zoom uh, that allow you to do optical zoom, yes, optical zoom using just Inspire 1 or Inspire 2. So the idea behind that was that we use multiple boson cameras. Uh, why did we do that? Because there are two challenges, even up to now. There are, first of all, it's a weight limit. There are optical zoom cameras out there, but they're too heavy to put on drones. Or another reason is that they, they are too expensive, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our solution costs a fraction of that. Um, so we released that version two years ago. And recently we renew, uh, we upgrade to make a all digital version, which is here. And I introduced in a previous video. So I think FLIR got inspired by that partially. And they, they released a different version called FLIR View TZ20. That consists of only two cameras, two bosons. Uh, but the problem is that they are about two years uh, behind. And also... Uh, our version allows the user to config this, custom this, make two cameras, three cameras, or four cameras, depending on your needs and budget. So two cameras is like a stepwise, you know, wide view and then narrow view. Three cameras, you have something in between. Four cameras, you can have another thing in between. So it's more continuous this way. When you zoom in and out, it's more continuous than just two. This viewer boson um, 1024 by 640 on the other hand doesn't allow you to do optical zoom it allows you to do digital zoom only but it it gives you much more pixels and it has an app for you to allow you to control everything here I don't have to repeat uh, the nice thing about this is you can control both the individual ca the camera individually or control them at the same time. So if you like this video in general, please consider subscribing to our channel, hit the like button and hit the bell button too, so that um, next time we release any new videos, you, you won't miss them. All right, thank you so much and have fun.